You found it. Your home for the best content on your favorite team, the Fighting Tigers of LSU. Do us a favor, subscribe to the channel, leave your comments below, and be sure to smash that like button. Brian Kelly, completely transitioning. A uh, Brian Kelly, Oge died, by the way. A uh, Brian Kelly uh, met with reporters after practice. This was LSU's last practice before the spring game, which, of course, be the last practice of this spring. And uh, there was there were some interesting things that Brian Kelly said. Players and position groups that are standing out. We'll get a C for that, uh, uh, C for ourselves firsthand on on Saturday at the spring game. But I thought. The most interesting thing Brian Kelly said today, which was probably the only newsy, like actually newsy thing he said, was when he was asked about uh, positions they might uh, target in the transfer portal. Give a listen. Brian, as you go into the offseason, like you said, kind of evaluating this roster, other than maybe defensive tackle, other positions that y'all might target in the transfer portal? I don't, I don't see any other positions that we need to be in the transfer portal for other than the defensive tackle position, really. Okay. Um, I would say that qualifies as newsworthy. Now, if you were here on Wednesday, we talked about Jackson Howard entering the transfer portal. And I, I did a very um, unofficial count and did you know reach out to some people over at LSU to see if I could get this confirmed. But as best as I can tell, un, again, unofficially, this isn't you know officially from LSU, Unofficially, as of today, LSU is going into the fall with 88 scholarship players. Uh, I don't know if you know this, but there's a rule that you can only have 85. The NCAA mandates it. So if you have 88, that's three too many. So LSU is going to lose more players via the portal. Uh, period. There, there is no other option. There are scholarship players on the team right now that will not be on the team in the fall. They can't be. They're heavy on numbers, which is a much better problem to have than what you faced when Brian Kelly took over when you were bringing on gobs of transfers just to get to a, the, the 85 scholarship number, which they haven't had the last two years. So that that's, number one, a good thing, that your numbers are finally healthy again. Um, I, I found it also interesting that Brian Kelly said they would only be looking right now at defensive tackle. And as you kind of go position by position and say where else might LSU target, uh, what other position might they target in the portal, I think the most obvious one would be running back. Remember, you've got two scholarship running backs in spring right now with Josh Williams and Caleb Jackson. you got two, that's it. And Caden Durham will be here in, in the summer. And then it seems as though, based on what Brian Kelly said on uh, this past Saturday, that the Trey Holly situation looks like it's probably going to reconcile and that they'll they'll end up getting Trey Holly back, and so you'll be at four scholarship running backs. Um, if there was another running back in the portal, it would stand a reason that you could certainly bolster depth there because after those four guys, you just have walk-ons. Maybe they can get by. I walked through it earlier this week, is that you can get by with four. We've seen LSU teams in the recent past. I think 2018 is a great example where you had Clyde edwards Elair and Nick Brissett really as the two guys that took all of your all of your running back reps. Um, so you can do it with four. Well, how productive they'll be, we'll see. But when you look everywhere else on the roster, it kind of makes sense. Uh, your numbers are good at linebacker, even if you're not thrilled with your production. Even though Brian Kelly did say today, listen to him talk about linebacker uh, today when he met with reporters. They're all going to play, and Blake, I think, made this clear. All those guys have to be in a rotation, and um, West Weeks had a great spring. I mean, not a good spring, a great spring. So I think you're going to see a, a, you know, a presence of, of all those guys, and, and certainly then it becomes down in distance you know, relative who's going to be fighting to get on third down. These guys are going to be fighting for third down, but there's enough reps for everybody. We're going to keep them fresh. We're going to keep them active. They're all going to impact what we do, but I think if there is a, an area where we have depth and we have a high level of confidence, it's at the linebacker position right now. Wouldn't have thought that depth and high level of confidence is that linebacker. So if you're a linebacker, you certainly have numbers in the secondary. You're trying to figure out where your starters are going to be, but you've got numbers in the secondary for sure. Your offensive line is certainly fine. You're deep and talented at receiver. You've got plenty of tight ends as well. So And you've got four scholarship uh, quarterbacks on the roster. So 
Running back really would be the only other position I would target, so it kind of makes sense. And just when you look at the numbers, if you're going to add someone via the portal, if you're going to add someone via the portal, you've got to subtract a scholarship player. You're already going to lose three more. You're going to lose at least three more scholarship players in this portal window. So Jackson Howard was the first. You're going to lose at least three more. If you want to add more players via this portal window, be prepared to lose more scholarship players to go one for one. So, I, you know, if you're Brian Kelly and you're LSU putting this roster together, you have to be really convicted not only on the player you're taking, but the need at that position if you're going to take a player. So uh, Brian Kelly, I don't know if they could have made it any more clear. The only place that they'll be looking to add this uh, portal window would be at defensive tackle. We'll see if they if they actually do add uh, any more players after Gio Paez or if they're good with where they have. But um, like sometimes there are players that are must-takes, right? If there's a, a guy that jumps in the portal that may, imme- wants to come to LSU and immediately makes you better than who you have, then you find a way to make that work. But Brian Kelly's pretty clear that they don't see that as a pressing need right now. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Please leave your comments. I love to interact. And be sure to hit the red subscribe button below.